Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number three from the Mechanics M1 International A Level at Excel, um, January 2023 exam. This question here is about vectors and also SUVAT, uh, constant acceleration. It says a particle P is moving with constant acceleration minus 4i plus j meters per second. So the acceleration is constant minus 4i plus 1j. I like to like. I like to use column vectors. I find that much easier. So that's acceleration. At time t equals zero, p has velocity of 14i minus 5j meters per second. Find the speed of p at time t equals two seconds. So we can say that t equals zero would be its initial velocity. So we can call that u. And its velocity is 14i minus 5j. And we want to find the speed of p at time t equals two seconds. So we need to find the velocity of p first. Okay, so we've got to find what the velocity of p is. And then from that, we can find the speed. And I'll explain what that means. And that's when time equals two seconds. So if we think about what we have, we have v, u, a, and t. So we know there's a formula v equals u plus a, t. So we want to find what v is. We know u is 14 and minus 5 plus a times t, so you're going to have two times this vector, a which is minus 4, 1, and that will tell you the velocity of this particle p after two seconds. So you have 14 minus 8, which is 6, and negative 5 plus 2, which is minus 3. Okay, so that's the velocity, okay, after two seconds, 6 minus 3. Now, they want the speed. Now, the speed is equal to the magnitude of the velocity. Okay. Um, minus 5 plus 3, that's right. So, that's the magnitude of this vector, which is the magnitude of 6 squared plus 3 squared, which is the square root of 36 plus 9, which is 45. So, the square root of 45, um, which if you write this in its simplified third form, that's 9 times 5, that's 3 times root 5. So we can say that the speed is equal to 3 root 5 um, meters per second. Um, you could write this in 3SF if you wish to as well. So we have 3 root 5. Let's just make sure we did it correctly. The square root of 6 squared plus 3 squared. We don't have to worry about the minus sign. It's going to be squared anyway. That's 3 root 5, which is... 6.71 meters per second to 3 SF. Okay, both of those are fine. You can write either way. So that's fine. That's part A finished. And now for part B. It says, find the size of the angle between the direction of I and the direction of motion of P at time equals 2 seconds. So at 2 seconds, particles going in the direction 6, negative 3. Now, the direction of i, i is a vector zero, 1, 0. It's like a horizontal unit vector. It's going on the positive x direction. So what we want to do is we want to find the angle between the vector i, which would be a vector in this direction, and the vector 6 minus 3. Now, 6 minus 3 would be something like this. A6 minus 3 would be something like this. There will be a vector like that. So we want to find, this would be 6, this would be minus 3. Just, um, okay. So that's 6 minus 3, that's the right angle. I want to find the angle between the direction of I and the direction of motion of P. So six minus three. This is the this is the direction. This is the velocity after two, of two seconds, and we want to find this angle between them. Okay, um, yeah. So that's the angle we need to find. So we don't have to worry about the sign here. We just call this three. It's fine. Six units that way. Three units downwards. So we can say that this angle can be found using opposite over adjacent, which is tangent. So we have tangent of the angle we're looking for is equal to three over six. So the angle is inverse tan of one half. Three over six is one half, one over two. Um, and that's the angle between the, the direction of motion of 
of i, direction of i and the direction of motion of this object, 6 minus 3. So inverse tan of a half, so let's get our calculator, make sure we are in degree mode. Now we're in radian mode, so actually didn't tell you to use degrees or radians, but I'm guessing you know it's better to use degrees in these type of questions. So I will change it to degree mode. I'm sure if you wrote it in radians, it should, should still be okay, because it didn't mention degrees or radians. So tan inverse tan of a half. 3 over 6, which is a half. And that gives us the angle 26.565. 26.565. Now we want to write it to one decimal place because it didn't mention anything else. So we write this as 26. Point six. So the angle we're looking for is 26.6 degrees. And there's the answer to question part B um, of question 3. And then for part C, it says, at time t equals t seconds, capital T seconds, p is moving in the direction of the vector 2i minus 3j, find the value of t. So after t seconds, it's moving in this direction. Okay, so we know that v equals u plus a t again. So we know that a is equal to, as we got here, I'm sorry, the other way, we got minus 4, 1. We know the initial velocity at time equals 0 seconds. Um, the initial velocity was 14 minus 5. Now we want to find the speed at t seconds. Okay, and we know that the speed at t seconds, it's parallel to the vector k, well, it's parallel to the vector 2i minus 3j, to 2 minus 3. So it's equal to a multiple of this vector. If it's in this direction, it's going to be able to express as a multiple of this um, vector. So when two vectors are parallel, they're moving in the same direction, and one of the vectors can be expressed as a multiple or a fraction of the other vector. So the velocity of t, final velocity, is definitely going to be, be able to be expressed as something times 2 minus 3. And of course, our time is capital T. We've got to find what t is. So if we use the same equation, v equals u plus a t, u plus a t, um, we know that v is k times 2 minus 3. We know that u is 14 and minus 5. And we have a times t, so you have capital T times the acceleration, which is minus 4 on 1. So from this, we can form two equations. We can say 2k is equal to 14 minus 40. And we have minus 3k is equal to negative 5 plus t. So we want to find the value of t, so we need to uh, eliminate the k from here. So we can do this in a number of ways. Um, what we can do here is we can multiply this. We can use substitution or we could use um, elimination. Let's use elimination. Let's just take this and multiply it by 3 and take this and multiply it by 2. If you multiply this by 3, you get 6k equals 3, that's uh, 30 plus 12, that's 42, minus 12t. And then if you multiply this by 2, you get negative 6k. And you have minus 5 times 2, which is minus 10. And you have 2 times t, which is plus 2t. So now if we add these two equations together, the k's will disappear, give you 0 here, and you'll have 42 plus minus 10, so 42 minus 10, which is 32, and you have minus 12 plus 2, oops, you have, that's going to be minus, minus 12 plus 2, which is minus 10t, so we end up with 10t equals 32, so therefore t equals 3.2 seconds. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. So we know that the, the, um, at t seconds, it's moving parallel to this. This is the initial speed. This is the acceleration. Okay, let's make sure we do 14 minus 5 minus 4, 1. Yep. And therefore, we can find what uh, t is. t equals 3.2. It will be some uh, multiple of this vector. Okay, so there's the answer to that question number three. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this particular paper can be found
by looking at the um, link that will appear over here for the playlist of this paper. Other questions from vectors in M1 can be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch a video that will appear, the link for it will appear over here, which tells you how to use my channel to help you find what you need and to revise properly. Thank you for watching and see you soon.